It means to excel. It means to uh, move into abundance. It means to have more than you had. It means to be more than you have been. It means to be better. It me come on. It means to exceed. It means to increase. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. It means to go to a place of over and above. So the Apostle Paul is saying to them that what you have done has been great, but there is so much more on the inside of you. There is so much more that is ahead of you. He says that I want you to excel still more. Come on, tell your neighbor it's time to excel still more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That there is an expectation to go higher. That there is an expectation for more. Hallelujah. We find that there are several in Scripture whom were challenged to raise the bar, to increase their standards, to increase in expectations, to increase, come on, to increase even more, to challenge themselves beyond the, where they are now so that they can perform better. Come on. They, 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 that, that we show a greater level of commitment. Come on. That we would go deeper. Tell somebody it's time to go deeper. That we would achieve a higher level of excellence. Glory to God. There were those who were challenged to go even further. You remember the rich young ruler? He had the question, how, what do I have to do to gain eternal life? And Jesus told him, sell all that you have and give to the poor. Jesus was trying to give him an opportunity, come on, to excel. Jesus was giving him an opportunity to go into something greater and something deeper. But unfortunately for the rich young ruler, he was so caught up in what he had. In other words, that the possessions actually had him that he missed the opportunity to go higher. He missed the opportunity to go to the next level. He missed the opportunity, y'all, come on, to raise the bar. Jesus was trying to show him something better, take him to a whole new level of living, whole new level of life, but his possessions had him, and he hung his head in sorrow, and he walked away from the opportunity. Tell somebody it's time to raise the bar. There was another man, though, who took the opportunity. His name was Abraham. He was put in a vicarious situation. He was put in a situation where, uh, number one, we find him as Abram when he uh, came, when he, his father had died. And now here it is, coming out of the Ur of the Chaldees. Now he has to face this new journey without his daddy. And it is at that time that God introduces himself to Abram and tells him to leave Come on, leave your country, leave your relatives, and go to a place that I'm going to show you. We find out there, come on, that Abram takes the challenge. The Bible says the next morning he saddled up his donkey, got everybody together, and they left. Are you all with me? So it was that he took, he took the opportunity to raise, come on, raise the bar as God presented it to him. So he left from that place, going to a place, come on, that he knew not of. But again, after he had done that, God had another challenge for him to raise the bar again. I submit to you that once you get to one place, it might feel like you've made it. But God knows more than you, and God's trying to get you somewhere, not just here. I know you feel comfortable here. I know it feels good here. But God's about to make everything, come on, in your nest uncomfortable. God's about to put prickers in there. He's about to put briars in there. He's about to put some things in your nest to make it so uncomfortable for you, not to hurt you, but to let you know, come on, to announce to you that it's time to raise the bar. That he wants you to aim higher than what you've had, that what you've had has been amazing. But God says, I have much more for you. 
God says, I have you on this journey and I have much more for you. I don't like your name. Your, a, your name, Abram, simply means exalted father. But you are not just an exalted father. You are more than that. You are father of many nations. So we're going to do something with your name so that you'll know exactly who you are. 